Once upon a time in the city zoo, there lived a lion by the name of Hillary. One day, a terrible thing happened. Ignoring the warning sign, a little boy slipped past the rail, much too close to the lion's cage, and the little boy bit the lion, which almost ended his tail right there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you beast. Just then, the keeper came running up with Hillary's lunch. Rice pudding and animal crackers, just like you like it, Hillary. Hey, what's happened? And Hillary told the keeper what had happened. No, I've got a boo-boo. The king of the beast got a boo-boo. If this gets out, we'll both be out of a job. Oh, oh, easy. Some ferocious animal you are. I, sir, am a king, and I am in no mood to perform today. You may go. Just for that, no rice pudding. The ASPCA is going to hear about this. By now, Hillary was getting very hungry. In fact, I'm so hungry, I could roar. Not bad. Try another one. Hillary began to roar again and again. Attracted by the noises, a crowd gathered. Roar. 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 Hey, I'm a sensation. And Hillary gave out a great big roar, just for good measure. Roar! But that scared everybody away, <laughs> except the keeper. <laughs> What's happening here? I've been roaring just like a ferocious beast. Now do I get my rice pudding? Absolutely not. You've scared everybody away. This is gonna be one of my bad days. Well, at least give me some of those pills. I'm starved. But the keeper would not give Hillary any pills. So Hillary decided to break out of the zoo. Penny did. I'm free. Free as a bird. <laughs> oh, present company excluded. So now we find Hillary exploring the streets of the city. Well, a royal throne. Fit for a king. <laughs> Namely me. Now for a royal feast. Food, knave. Shave. Coming up. Nice head of hair you got there, friend. You want to keep it that way? A nice hot towel will do the trick. You got the whipped cream? Where's the rice pudding? Of course, Hillary had never been shaved before. <coughs> so when the sharp blade approached his face, he panicked. Yeah. Suddenly, the sweet aroma of rice pudding tickled Hillary's nose. <laughs> What'll it be, pal? Rice pudding, please. I always have rice pudding on Tuesdays. Hey, sir, I was first, sir. Hold it, Mac. You forgot your check. Hey, you owe me 20 bucks for that rice pudding. Help. Police. Help. Police. But undaunted, merrily went Hillary on his way. Or <laughs> rather, Hillary went merrily on his way. Well, greetings, fellow king of the beasts. Lovely place you've got here. And your room for another boarder? Oh, a snob, eh? Well, maybe your buddy will tell me. Old stony face over there won't talk. How about it? Any rooms in there for me? What's the matter? Cat's got your tongue? In that case, I'll find out for myself. Say, this is no lion's house. This must be a people zoo. Golly, they sure look hungry. You need some rice pudding. And one for you, and you, and you. Help! Robbery! R robbery? I'd better get out of here. There he goes, the rice pudding thief. Don't let him get away. We got you cornered. Yeah, but you can see for yourself. But, but I... <laughs> a lion. 
golly, it's wild outside. I like it better in my zoo. Look at this headline, Hillary. Rice pudding lion terrifies city. Now this is a real lion. And this is real rice pudding. I created a Frankenstein!